everybody to Command Combat Battle Reports. Today we are doing the Battle of Eadrang. This is from Historicon from a few years ago, and it's a historical battle they put on, representing the first major battle in the Vietnam War. This is the battle that was portrayed in the movie We Were Soldiers. We did a miniature reenactment of this battle, which you can see at the link below, so you can see what really happened at the battle, and compare it to what happens in this game. We're also releasing this on Veterans Day in honor of all the veterans out there, so thank you all for your service. This is also the first day that my book about soldiers in the Vietnam War is going up on ink shares. There's more information about that in the comments below, and I'll tell you a bit more about it at the end of this video. For now, let's get on with the game. Here you can see the American forces, this was the 1st Air Cavalry Division, with part of the 3rd Air Cav, 7th Air Cav, and the 5th Cavalry. Cavalry being a euphemism, of course, at this period. They fly in on helicopters, with more helicopter support. You can see them on the right. And here are your North Vietnamese forces. There are a ton of them, with some of them in bunkers you can see in the center. They will be coming from all sides. The setup has the Americans in the center, coming out of a wrecked helicopter. The Americans are figuring out their strategy, deciding how they're going to fight this battle. Their setup involves a unit of infantry set up around a downed helicopter. They're going to set up a perimeter around the helicopter, evenly on all sides. The North Vietnamese start off on all sides, coming out of the woods into the clearing. Some of them are coming out through a ravine, which will give them additional cover as they come out after the Americans. And there is the full setup. You can see the North Vietnamese are on all sides, but they're particularly strong at the top right. And they're going to charge out of the woods, running straight at the Americans. It looks like they're running at the double, which will give the Americans double the amount of shots at them, but the Vietnamese want to close that distance and get into hand-to-hand. -hand. And they're coming in at double the speed from the other side as well. That is a very big mob coming in after the Americans. The Americans bring in their gunships, face towards that large mob coming at them from the top. I don't know which way is north or south, so I'm just saying top and bottom here. And that is a lot of shots going in after that large mob. That's a lot of damage and they've pinned that unit down and now they're bringing in missiles. And that takes out a few more. That charge of the North Vietnamese charge is pretty crippled now, but there are plenty more, especially since they only did minor damage on the other side. The Vietnamese get unpinned and continue their advance. They're charging right into the face of those helicopters. Although I believe the helicopters are above them so they can run under them. One unit charges past the ravine, leaving the other one inside to fire from their natural trenches. And the Vietnamese are now getting reinforcements in the form of some larger guns that looks like they can take out the helicopters and some mortars which can do some area damage. And their AA guns take down a helicopter. The Americans now drop off some more of their troops, scattering into the tall grass. They push out their perimeter. The Americans bring in some more gunships, this time on the opposite side, taking out a huge chunk of the NVA on that side and pinning them down. This might open up a path for the Americans to get into the riverbed and take some cover, rather than being out there in the open. And on the other side, the American infantry whittled down a little bit more of that horde coming at them. And of course, the NVA come unpinned because they are fearless. They're just going to keep on going after the Americans here. And now bunkers are appearing out of the ground. They are hidden ambushes, placed by the NVA. The Americans hadn't seen them before because they were very well hidden. And with those bunkers providing covering fire, pinning down the Americans, the NVA go charging in. And despite their losses, they've got mobs going in, probably more numerous than they had at the beginning. Some of them are bypassing the Americans, surrounding them. Even the ones in the dry riverbed are coming out. The infantry are firing, they're bloodying up the Americans, and taking out some of the units. The mortars fire, and take out the remaining Americans on the bottom side. Those few American troops are really getting wiped out. More fires being put down on them. They're getting bloodied. Which are those damage markers you're seeing going down on them? In the Vietnam version of Flames of War, the Americans can get damaged without getting completely destroyed. They're a bit more powerful. And now the NVA are coming in for their assault on those wounded Americans. Though the Americans are well equipped, can they hold off? Their defensive fire does very, very well. Killing a few of them and causing the rest of them to pull back. That front has just barely held on. The opposite side though is all but folded and more Americans are coming in to help. The helicopter has dropped them off and is getting the heck out of there. And here come a lot more American choppers with more reinforcements to help in the fight. They're landing them at the flank of the oncoming NVA and their machine gunners are pouring in some fire knocking out a few of those NVA on the side. The ground forces throw in some mortar fire. 
and create a hole in the middle of that NVA mob. On the lower end, the Americans fill in a bit of the hole and whittle down a few of those NVA forces. The Americans on the ground on their perimeter are just firing in every direction, whittling away as many NVA forces as they can. And here's how it looks at the present. The Americans are very weak down at the bottom. They're badly hurt over on the right, but they have their strongest numbers up here in the center. These helicopters that just came in on the left, I think they have troops on them and they're about to drop them off, but they might just be gunships. They're the ones that really hurt the NVA up here on the top. The NVA, meanwhile, are very close to the center bottom, though they are pinned at the moment, and everywhere here at the top with this gigantic mob putting pressure here, here, and here. That's why the American forces are holding as strong as they can all the way along the top here in a fishhook fashion. But the NVA have a very large presence down here at the bottom, with almost nothing opposing them. So despite it looking bad for the Americans in this last turn, this is still anybody's game. And now the Americans have had a huge break. One of the NVA companies has failed their morale and has run off this field. So on the right side of the screen, an entire NVA company has left. They have now been replaced by a new company coming out of the woods in the same direction, but at least that's one force the Americans don't have to deal with anymore. And now one of the other NVA companies is rushing forward at the helicopter, which is the actual objective in this game for the NVA. They're crowding in around it, while the NVA reinforcements come hurrying in at the American flank. They're connecting their lines with the other ones, so it's one continuous line encircling the Americans. And the rest of the NVA crowd in around the American perimeter. Opening fire, they're bloodying the American reinforcements. And now the Americans are so trapped that they're getting hit on all sides. They're beginning to take some heavy casualties. And an entire flank has now disappeared. That top section, which was the true hope of the Americans, is now entirely folding. It's come back to their mortars, and now they're getting hit. And once they have been bloodied, that is it for the Americans. They've got nothing left to contest this. They may have more troops and more helicopters further away, but there is nothing on this ground that can contest these North Vietnamese. They have taken the objective, and they have won the Battle of Via Drang. That's actually different from the historical account, but then again, with the Vietnam War, it is often asked, who really wins any of these battles? Soon enough, this entire area will be cleared, and everyone will be going somewhere else to fight, and then another place, and another place, and the war will drag on for year after year. But this has been an interesting replay of the battle. To see more battles like this, go to Historicon. It's in Fredericksburg, Virginia, which is actually a famous battle from the Civil War. And you can visit that battlefield while there. I, meanwhile, am working on a book about experiences in the Vietnam War. It went up today on Inkshares. And if you're interested in getting a pre-order copy or in learning more about the book, follow the link in the description below. And if you have experiences you'd like to share or know someone who does, please contact me here on YouTube. The description of how to do that, again, is in the description below. Thank you all for watching. Again, to all you veterans out there, thank you for your service. Be sure to subscribe to see more, and happy gaming, everybody.